At Rapid City, USA, preparations are in hand for the most important attempt to send a balloon up into the stratosphere yet made. At night, the work goes on under the glare of floodlights. The balloon is inflated and all is ready when suddenly the fabric rips open like a paper bag. This accident is a tremendous disappointment to the sponsors of the flight. Better luck next time. Meet Mr. Richard Halliburton, an American author, and Dally, his tame elephant, who, in spite of her name, is doing all she can to carry him across the Alps on her back. He's trying to repeat what the Emperor Hannibal did 2,000 years ago. And now they're off for the last part of the journey, the climb to the top of the St. Bernard Pass, which is 8,120 feet high. The rider has no luggage, but the elephant carries a trunk. Above 5,000 feet, Dally feels sick due to the rarefied air. But Mr. Hannibal, uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Halliburton, finds that sugar does her good. So with a lump or two every few minutes, she keeps going in great style. And here they are at the top. Lady Weigel greets friends at the wedding of her daughter, Miss Priscilla Weigel, to Viscount Curzon. Among the guests are ex-King George of Greece and the Earl of Athlone. The ten bridesmaids receive bouquets of blue delphiniums and white lilies. Five of them are children. The smallest is Lady Rose Fane. The bride arrives with her father, who is a knight commander of St. Michael and St. George. And that's why the wedding is being held in the tiny chapel of St. Michael and St. George at St. Paul's Cathedral. She arrives ten minutes too early and has to wait outside until the clergy and choir are ready. Now the wedding's over, and the bride in a silver lacquer gown with a diamond tiara and necklace walks slowly down the steps. She carries a prayer book in place of a bouquet. We managed to get this close-up of the bride and bridegroom just before they left for the reception at Sunderland House. In the lovely grounds of the Alfred Merchant Seaman's home at Belvedere, Kent, the old soldiers and the old sailors have a stand-up battle. At least they're standing up most of the time. The sailors are the inmates of the Royal Alfred home, the soldiers are Royal Hospital Chelsea pensioners, and this is their annual bowls match for the Tufnell Challenge Bowl. Watch this one. Well done. It's a perfect wood. And so the game goes on, with the red coats and the blue coats straining every nerve, or as many nerves as they've got. A match such as this is quite literally a matter of inches, and this year the old soldiers win. But the sailors say, wait until next year. Now that the flood waters have subsided, the extent of the damage in the terrible New York State floods is fully visible. Tons of mud have been deposited over towns, villages and cultivated land. Efforts are being made to repair the damage to the railways, but it will take months, perhaps even years, before the bridges can be rebuilt. The heat which has succeeded the rain is adding another danger. The waters have become typhus-ridden, and special supplies of drinking water have to be laid on. The authorities are doing all they can, providing shelters for homeless people, inoculating them against disease, providing them with clothes. Some of those who were driven from their homes have returned, and started the heartbreaking job of cleaning up. And they'd finished spring cleaning once this year already. Very soon we hope all the marks of this terrible disaster will have disappeared. The bugle call heralds the entrance of Lord and Lady Baden-Powell into the natural amphitheater at Camp Andre, New York, where a thousand girl scouts are gathered to welcome them. Well, I'm delighted to be back here at the camp and see it once more after some years of absence and to find that it has been growing almost like the trees within it at a pace I could never have expected before. And here we are now with a tremendous collection of girls learning to be real good women.
And I'm mighty glad to see it grown onto the successful plan plane that it has. Good luck to it. <laughs> <laughs>